Hello there everyone, and welcome back to Victory and Glory Napoleon. Last time around, we have two battles in the region of Vienna, in which case we uh, thrusted the Austrians out of the war. We still, however, got the Prussians, which r quite recently joined. We have England and we have Russia. And right now, what we need to do is we need to deal with this British army and we need to deal with the Prussians. Kind of interestingly, the Prussians declared war on us, but ha they have been sitting in their own home region for this entire turn or so forth. Right, I've got six activations. Oh, that I wasn't supposed to do that, but fine, you can be connected. This guy, nay is moving back, or is trying to move to Paris to pick up some troops. And the rest of our armies are going to advance towards the Prussians. Napoleon's army moves into Bohemia. Um, this army is just going to be right there. No, it's not actually. I moved it down because I didn't want it to be cornered because we had the Prussians here, I believe, and we had the English right here. We're not going to attack the English, but we're going to move back into Holland or the Netherlands to protect this ship. Because if the British move in, then they must leave port and then they risk getting destroyed by the British Navy. So that's what we're going to do. Um, this is not thing I really need to do. Um, cards. I guess I could create the Kingdom of Bavaria, but don't really see a reason to get f you will get gain four German units in Bavaria and no I don't really see a need for that right now what we possibly could do is do a merchant of a new general because we lost one and that would have probably been easier to use than to move Ney back but Ney is already halfway back uh, we've got the uh, US purchase of Louisiana territory, Ga we gain two units, but neither that is really same with Napoleon returns. Revolutionary ideas uh, moves uh, up seven spaces of the diplomatic track. Um, I'm not entirely sure who we would use that on if we look at this. I guess we would use it at Germany. It's a neutral legion, the same as uh, Italy, but I'm not entirely sure if I boost Italy with four diplomatic rating, uh, what will happen really. Um, but I guess we kind of need to do it with Germany, possibly, because the Germans are at zero, and uh, as we see here, all with ones are kind of at war with us, so we want to keep them at as high points as possible so they don't actually go ahead and declare war at us again. Now I've got three points here but um, I don't think there's any more moves I want to make so let's go ahead and end the turn shall we. Skirmishers um, must be must be currently in the friendly neutral state of this card play. Once played pressure will stay in friendly neutral state it cannot become independent Again, until liberated. Um, Prussia must be in. It must be currently in the friendly neutral state for this card to be played. Once played, Prussia will stay in friendly neutral state and cannot become independent again until liberated. So th this this means that someone has to actually move into Prussia and liberate them, because this. Uh, could work pretty darn well uh, in my favor because that means uh, because there's a risk I imagine there's a risk of as soon as the turns have gone out that um, Britain will try to influence Austria to declare war on us again and if uh, the <coughs> enemy actually has to go there then that puts a lot of pressure on them at the same time skirmishes are really good as well but I guess we're going to take this one, because it's interesting. Oh, so the British move around us, and I guess they're moving towards Paris. And uh, they move in to split up and move, the, make the kind of, I guess they're making the perfect army to deal with us in the, um, in Berlin. And at the same time, these guys are rushing 
towards Paris. They now actually stand at risk of pushing these guys out to sea. Uh, we're going to continue moving Ney. We're going to move uh, this army on the Messina over there. I think Messina and Napoleon actually has to come together. To, so we put them together because now, right now there's 24 units there. Napoleon is not going to be able to attack with only 14. Um, and we kind of have to stop this English army now. So even though I would have liked it to... Uh, oh, there's a Russian general in there. Hmm. Oh, there's some Russian troops. Did I forget that the Russian and the British combined their troops? I guess I did. I think this army is quite strong actually compared to us because we have a l ki some Belgian units the enemy has two cannons we only have one could definitely be an interesting fight and I want to stop them before they push my navy out because I want to keep as many ships as possible because those are hard to get and um, if I'm going to invade England which is the main main point to push them out of the war um, of this campaign, then it would be really nice if, nice if I could actually sink their bloody navy. Um, so let's go ahead and attack, shall we? Oh, they retreat. So they did not want to take the fight against Davo and Mar Marwant, which is good. Um, activation points. Don't really, you know, just like last time. I can apply a point, which I cannot apply to any major power, but I can apply it to these regions. I guess we'll apply to to uh, the German region. We'll apply two points. And now I've got zero. And that's end turn. You have reached the maximum number of event cards. You must. You may not draw a card at the end unless you. Okay, so. Uh, we'll have to draw a card then. Um, wrong button. Why? Uh, what about then consolidating the empire? Napoleon's genius allowing to modernize the empire. This playing this card uses all of your activations for one turn. Um, no, that will be next turn then. So I guess what we'll use is we'll emerge a new general and we'll put him in this army. Red. And we're also going to, I guess, use the uh, Louisiana Purchase. So we get two new units. And we're going to get two ships. Oh, the two squadrons were out of there. So let's merge these two. So now we got six ships there. Uh, outnumbering the British ones, but uh, the British are a lot better than us. But hopefully they'll they'll start to shuffle, and maybe there's there's an opening. Um, and then um, revolutionary ideas, I guess. When played for either Germany or Italy, players' choice. The region moves force base on the diplomatic track. Can I move that? Uh, German states, Italian states. We will move to German states. Um, so, yes, the German states. We'll move them up on the uh, diplomatics, so and now they're six. The Italians are nine. I'm not entirely sure what that does, but right. Uh, let's see. Heavy cavalry or recruit mining troops in Germany. Recruit two units from available in any German region that is a member of the French Empire. And this move... It's Germany down one. I guess I need to start to use these uh, kind of cards. But we'll take this. So far, uh, the only region we have is Bavaria. Okay, so the British have moved over here. Um, Ney moves into France. And what we're going to do is we're going to split this army. Maybe I should attack first. We're going to split this one and we're going to put... We're gonna Put all the good troops with Ney. And then we'll just keep all these kind of crap troops in... Uh, what are these, anyways? Some militia troops? What does it actually say they are? Let's see. Does it say? Militia infantry. Uh, so militia infantry under Verd 
will stay in Paris or in their home region. Right, so we have possibility here of drawing some armies together, but these guys will move over to Napoleon and will merge some units, will send over some units to Napoleon. This army is kind of crap. But we'll send over some infantry. All the good infantry. Let's start off with that, so four units. So now he's got some extra units. Napoleon already has a lot of good artillery. Oh shit, now... Oh, I moved everyone together. I could do that. So I did use that thing. Ha! Huh. Uh, so we got 24. That's plenty enough to deal with the Prussians. But first, let's go ahead and see if the we can push the English back even further. No, the English decide to stand here. For some reason, this... I guess... They will go no further than this. And... Where? Anticipate the enemy. Right, we're gonna... I think usually... We do pretty well. On going on the left. And then... We'll be pretty passive in the center. And the enemy usually... Puts up kind of a st strong defense. Can I move you back and just... We need some of these crappy guys up first and so we have some good units to push into as reserves. So this is my lineup. Let's go ahead and see what the enemy does. So they, once again, they kind of uh, make a weak uh, right for us. And yeah, we're gonna start by pushing up through that side. Cavalry charges and eliminates my cannon. Wow, great start. <sighs> Fuck me. Um, well, that wasn't great at all. Do I have a possibility to counter this? Excellent attack. We're gonna do that. Come on, not even this raid. Now I'm annoyed. Right, um, I'm not even going to bother advancing in the center. I think that's too strong compared to our unit. So what we're going to do is we're going to instead advance on our right. That cannon needs to go. So heavy cavalry. You have an excellent attack. Good attack. And weak attack. Come on. Artillery for artillery, disarrayed. Well, it's something. And then we're going to just go ahead and pass the initiative. I have no interest in uh, advancing the center at this point. They're focusing in on the weaker unit there. And with the artillery as well. Okay, so yes, I want to fight in the next round. Okay, so the enemy is disarrayed here, which should make for an excellent attack. Let's see if we can strike out their artillery. And it retreats. Well, it, that's something at least. Then we have an excellent attack. I'm gonna follow up then by trying to get this one. Oh, that one retreated as well. They push in some Russian infantry. Weak attack. That's better than nothing, I guess. Push into more Russian artillery. I mean, <laughs> infantry, not artillery. And uh, our crappy unit retreats. The enemy is pushing hard on my right now. We're going to continue here by shooting at this guy. And he gets eliminated. Finally, something got eliminated. One of our units retreats. Um, right. What am I going to do? Well, this one needs to move up. Then we have possibilities of attack here. This one's disarrayed. Which makes for... Actually, attacking the cavalry is pretty good. Um, because they're tired and so forth. You know what? Yes. Go ahead and attack. Could be a miss. And it was. But we have a possibility to shoot this guy. Which I think is pretty good. Which uh, kind of wasn't. Um, 
Right. You know what? We're going to keep this guy in reserve. I have a possibility of moving these guys to either side. So we're going to pass the initiative, see what the enemy does. Disarray those guys. Right. We are going to watch. I kind of need my men back. So... Wait, hey, may maybe not that unit actually. Damn it! So we couldn't get that one back. I guess nope. We couldn't get that one back. Um, and they cannot advance because well they're they've just been brought back. So yes, we're gonna fight in the next round. I should have <laughs> I should have done this one first. Ah crap! Formed into square. I was going to make an easy target for the enemy. And then they... Ah, and they eliminate him. God damn it. Now my right is not looking too good. But uh, now we have the possibility of fighting back here. And I think we'll be able to get them to retreat. God damn it. Shoot them to kill the bastards. I'd say. Um... We have a good attack on this guy, but nope. Um, I guess we need to push some men in over on this side. I'm gonna push this guy, he's coming back. Moved into that side. Disarrayed, disarrayed. Right, we're gonna count the charge. Let's see, we have minus one, plus five, and minus one. Let's get rid of that. Cavalry? No, apparently not. Minus one, plus two, plus two, and plus one. I guess we'll try to get that British guy. Nice. He got something out of that. Shoot the Ruski Paruski. Right, pass the initiative. Poor the, these guys, they're getting bombarded by artillery until. Uh, tragedy strike! Marmont has fallen in battle. God damn it. Why is it always my generals? The enemy only retreats. But my generals bloody well die. Right. Um, we're back at 10. <sighs> Do I? It's a super neat. No, I might not need that guy. So, we're gonna wait. The fact that I have a devil with 10 is probably gonna be enough. These guys di still disarrayed. So, we have a chance here. Good attack. I think we can uh, get rid of this one, forcing them into square. And they're destroyed. Nice. And we have possibilities against this guy. And uh, good attack. Mm. They're moving over the artillery. Interesting. And on this side, you will move up. Cavalry versus cavalry. And my cavalry unit was eliminated. Not very nice. Um, so we kind of want to maybe push this guy up to be ready to move up to aid on this side next turn. Um, right. Our cavalry, what can you do? Minus, minus, I, you have a ch kind of have a chance here. Or at least to push him into square. Oh, and eliminating him. Nice. Excellent attack. Excellent attack on both. Fire on this guy then. We're gonna pass the initiative. And I'm kind of hoping maybe they move some troops out of the center to either side. Um, oh, the enemy retreats? Or what is going on? Summary of the battle. Uh, I, I guess we could say even, but we lost a pretty good general, Varmont, with 5, compared with Moore, which is a 4, and Baxholden, which is a 3. We lost a cannon, that's not nice. Cavalry, that's not nice. And then 
We just took some Russian infantry, but that's, you know, Russian infantry, God, they've got plenty of those. Um, go off in 11 11. Um, we have a possibility, though, to move up Ney's army, combining with these two. So, combining these two, and then we definitely have enough to strike at the enemy. And we got an event card allowing us to get some old guard, imperial guard. Um, can I can I do that? Question is if I'm going to do this for this army or if I'm going to do it for Napoleon's army. Napoleon has two old guard units. I'm not entirely sure he needs more. Uh, we might have some for for this and oh yes it's only one. If it was two, it would be kind of overpowered. Uh, I'm not entirely sure why I thought there was two. Right. Um, no real moves more to make, do I? I guess this army could kind of move out. I've been keeping them there because I'm, f you know, hoping or I'm, I'm fearful that the, the allies will... Yes, you know what? I'm going to keep them there because otherwise the allies might send them troops force my navy out and that's not good so let's go ahead storm yes I'm definitely gonna have the storm card I guess maybe they're trying to free oh they're upgrading Prussian cavalry nation restored Spain has resumed its place among the powers in Europe her armed forces once again able to defend blah 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 so forth hopefully we can get Spain to actually come in on our side I do hold a lot of Spanish ships. Ah, nice, my fleet. I would have liked the fleet to actually be moved over there though. Um, let's see if we can get Ney and this army, which now is going to move down. And then Napoleon will move into Saxony and then prepare for an attack on Berlin. Event cards, um, the storm thing. We'll we'll wait. We'll wait with that one. But what I can do is I can do the heavy cavalry one. Uh, do we have any cavalry units here? Any weaker ones? No. In this army then. No. Napoleon's army. We've got two units. Yes. Boom, more heavy cavalry for Napoleon. Very good. And very quick turn here as well. Well, I've got some... I don't actually have any political points. Britain's got three, but it's not using any. Force march or good defensive terrain. Um, force march could be really good, but good defensive terrain could also be good. Hmm. You know what, we'll, we haven't used anything like that, so we're going to take that one. Oh, so they're trying to bring Spain into the war. Ah, no, they forced my fleet out. God damn it. Oh, so they moved even, e attempt to retreat. Please, let me retreat. Yes. No! But two against two, I guess it could be worse, but still, it is pretty darn crap. So, uh, yes, right off the bat, we're, uh, they're wounding us. And we're probably not going to be able to do any damage like that. We need to hold for at least, what is it, two rounds before we can retreat. And if we retreat now, this one comes under control of the enemy. Doesn't actually say it what kind of what kind of uh, oh yeah sunk. I've been focusing in on this one, but as you can see, we're not budging that at all. While the enemy oh I could retreat. Please, no damage. Guess we will fire back. And then retreat. 
So we lost one ship. I guess it could have gone worse. Where does the fleet end up then? Oh yes, of course, it does not go to Holland because it wouldn't rendezvous with the rest of the fleet, would it? Instead, it will go to Belgium, which means that it's going to be forced out again. God damn it. Well, there's a Russian army on the way? I kind of missed that. And we have kind of a large Spanish army on the move. Full stack, 20 units. I guess they're moving in, hoping that they can... Um oh, it's January, February. That means that if I move, I will get winter attrition. That's not nice. That's not nice at all. Oh, take the risk. God damn it. Um, can I move both fleets at the same time? Because I kind of move, want to move this one out and then this one out. So at least I get two to fight them again. Rather than, because I know the British. The British might actually go towards uh, Paris. Yes, we're going to risk it. Winter attrition! One unit lost. Kind of nice if they told me what unit were lost. So we're going to definitely try to protect um, Paris with 13 units. God damn it, stupid winter. Causing problems for me. Event cards. Do I have any event cards? It's causing winter to cease? No. Right. We'll end turn because we do not like winter. Minor drain uh, chose, which um, currently has French troops in it to join the empire. If another major nation already owns the region, the diplomatic rating. Um, I guess I need to use some of the, like these in these regions. Um, and then definitely we need to keep Spain out of the war. I don't want Spain joining the war on the enemy side. And um, really want a lot of ships so we can deal with the enemy and then I guess infantry. And then the fleet is all bunched up here. Oh, we get two there, two there. Yes, of course. Spread them out a bit. That's good. So I can't focus my force on, on the British. Did they also get four new squadrons? Hopefully they only got two. New Russian units. At least Austria isn't getting any units or are trying anything. So at least I've got something going for me. The fact that I pushed out the Austrians. Can we see about getting one more battle in this video, possibly? Or uh, why are the Ottomans even doing anything? Let's see. I'm going to use that card. I'm going to use the card. My nation joins the empire. Can I select region? Way! It joined the, the empire. What do I gain from that? More than... The fact that the region, I guess, lose some points or something like that. We've got the big battle here. And we've got these guys. So we got 15. I think we'll do another push against the British. And then we'll do the, the big battle in the next one. So, right. We got a lot of these militia units, which are very crap. We're going to put heavy artillery. We're going to make a heavy strike on the enemy's left. Maybe I should have put some more units. Um, my right is really open. Um, you know what? Yes, this will be it. How does the enemy proceed? They know I'm weak on my right, but they did not at all try to uh, push an advantage here. Because they, c if they, I guess, yeah. Start going up with the infantry. Holding. Punishing fire by the British. Um, this raid both units. 
Well, that's good. The militia did something. Kaboom! And you know what? These are no, these sides aren't gonna move forwards. We'll pass the initiative, and the militia retreats. No surprise. We're gonna push in the reserve militia and pass the initiative. And we're gonna fight next round. And what I'm going to do is push up the militia to start off with heavy cavalry. Where are you going? Weak attack, weak, good attack, and good attack. So we'll start opening up on this side. Oh, it retreats. Very nice. Counter attack by the enemy. Didn't really do anything. Good attack. Good attack. It's kind of similar all across, but the uh, we have a bit of better chance against the uh, cavalry. And then minus two, plus one, plus one. Go for the British then. My artillery will return fire and then... Oh. Then... Uh, my deed is done. Maybe what I should do is I should push in the old guard. Bloody British bastards. Oh yeah, fight the next round. Coming back from this raid. Oh, they have a cavalry though. They, they did not come back. We do not like that, the fact that they did not come back. But the enemy cavalry got disarrayed in their attack, so that's good. Excellent attack. Away with you, cavalry. Go, come on! Really? Yeah, I guess so. Nice. And my disarrayed heavy cavalry and their disarrayed light cavalry. And no, apparently not. And then my artillery will open up. Shoot something. Oh, we actually disarrayed them. And then... It's a stalemate. We will fight in the next round. And then we'll start off... By... Uh, I don't want the old guard, maybe. What kind of chances do they have? Cavalry then. Cavalry zero. Plus two. Desperate attack. Um, infantry then. We'll start off there. You see, oh, we disarray them. That's good. Oh, let's see here. They're all tired now. We got good attack. Excellent attack and poor attack. Go for the uh, cavalry. Nice. They're forced back. Excellent attack and we're gonna deal damage to the artillery. And then the old guard is gonna follow. Boom. So we're really opening up on their right. And then let's see, weak attack. Average, poor, fire at the grenadiers. And then pass the initiative. Pass the initiative. They're slowly moving the line over to fit on the right. Oh, they're retreating now. Summary, we lost two infantry, they lost a cannon and one infantry. And they push back to Belgium, which pushes out our bloody navy, does it not? S the army may three what? Fleet escapes to sea. Guess we'll join you too then. Um, and then why don't we join these two? So we have eight now here. I could actually fight a pretty large naval battle there. Um, since we're going to probably lose this one, let's make sure that we... Bloody well. Oh, the enemy moves away. So now we got 10 
ships there. And why don't I try, maybe I can try to move around here, combine my force, destroy the enemy. Alternatively, go back to port with both navies. You know what? That's probably the safer choice, so we're gonna do that. Anyways, I think this will be it for this episode. Next time, I'll go ahead and I'll attack Berlin. We'll see about push, push, pushing the Prussians out of the war. And then, Napoleon might go for an attack on Russia. Even though that's probably not gonna... Oh wait, do I have to capture both these points? Or which one is actually the capital? Like this. Because if I have to go through to both, that's gonna be difficult. And look at all the units they have all over the place. That's gonna be difficult. Anyways, hope you guys enjoy this, and hopefully... I'll see you guys for the next one. Bye.